Peace, beloved. Now, I thought this was interesting. What Slim Thug from Houston, Texas said about the Kanye situation. Not on black people, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe he crashed not on black people and just gonna go bad like that. I believe that he has an agenda. I believe he is fighting for us in some type of way. The thing is, though, a lot of people, like, like let's say this, a lot of people stop fucking with Kanye West. A lot of black people don't fuck with Kanye already. You know what I'm saying? We been stopped fucking with him, or a lot of people did. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still been a fan. A lot of people stopped fucking with Kanye a long time ago. When you go to his shows, you don't see majority black people there. You see white people, you see Latins there, you see Asian people there, you see a lot of other races, but you don't see majority black folks. So, black people I already kind of said fuck Kanye West, you know what I'm saying? For the most part. Um, so, if you don't fuck with him, don't worry about what he say. Why you care what this man say? Like, if you don't buy his shit or you don't support him, ignore him. Don't get let what he do offend you. Don't worry about what he do if you ain't a fan. That's how I feel like. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we ain't making Kanye rich today. It's all other races making Kanye rich today. He, do, he getting paid off for them more than anybody. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't know what his whole agenda is. I hear him calling out the dude who owned Louis and Hennessy. I like that. He's he's basically calling him a culture vulture because this white man is selling the, all this fucking designer and fucking uh, Hennessy to nothing but black people and shit mostly and acting like he down with us. But what from Kanye wrote, he said, you wouldn't even, you got mad at your son for, for liking rap music. So he looking at him basically like a culture vulture and trying to call him out and, you know, get him out the, you know, whatever about, you know, making all this money off of our culture and putting key black people in there that's going to shut the fuck up and fall in line. And he, he basically trying to speak on that, you know, and let motherfuckers know that, hey, man, this ain't cool. He a culture vulture, basically. I like that. And, he, and I like how he got on Adidas for copying his shit. You know what I'm saying? Adidas was copying his shit. We seen them pictures. We seen them pictures. Them niggas was copying his shit after he came over there and blew them up. You know what I'm saying? That ain't right. I like how he fought the motherfuckers and told them, man, fuck that. They called them out on their bullshit. A lot of niggas let shit slide like that. Kanye on a hold of the level, man. I'm proud of him for making it to being a billionaire when I even doubted him back in the day when he was trying to rap. I was like, nigga, give Jay-Z the beats, nigga, even me. So after he proved me wrong and became a rapper who did all these Grammys and shit and made all these hit records, I shut the fuck up, you know? And then next he did the clothes and shit. We always shut the, like, sway, you know, do your own shit. That was right, but at the end of the day, you can't. As an independent motherfucking person trying to do clothing myself, we only get blank teams, my nigga. Like, we can't got this quality like this. We don't have that quality. You got to fuck with them people to get that quality. You know, when you wear a motherfucking Balmain shirt, it ain't like the shit I'm selling you at Boss Life. It's the same more quality, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't available over here. So it's like, I got his point. You know, I understood what the fuck he was saying. He went over there and turned the hook. Now he making shit happen and, you know, leading the way with this fashion shit and, and doing all that. And, and then for them people, they playing with him. He the nigga who came up with all this shit. Like, basically, we know Virgil and all these Dun C's and uh, whoever else. We know them from Kanye. That's Kanye homeboys. You know what I'm saying? So for him to open the doors and them people not respect him but hire his homeboys and just try to, like, because, you know, handle him because they probably will be more, you know, willing to listen to what the fuck they got to say or whatever. And, you know, he, I understand him, man. I get it. I get it. That's disrespectful, man. Like, and they, I get what he's saying by they trying to disrespect him like that. Okay, he got with Adidas. He made shit happen. He did whatever. Like, he turned you easy up. The shit is up. These people get to copying his motherfucking style, man. Copying his slides and shit. We know that shit look just like what the fuck we got. We know that them slides and all that shit, look just, them shoes look just like the shit he create. That ain't right, man. That's your own people, my nigga. Like, so I, I understand him being mad at that. I'm happy that he bucking that shit and like, fuck it, I'm going to do this shit myself now that I'm at top. And I like that he calling out the Louis Vuitton nigga. I ain't mad at Kanye. I don't know what the fuck his agenda is now. 
like I said, I seen he switched it up with the we all white lie and everybody niggas don't get it. Niggas are jumping out there. Kanye, yeah, you fucking it up for black people. Let the nigga figure out, do his little trolling to figure out, see what his last agenda is, see what the full thing is. I believe that's what he trying to tell Puff, like, nigga, I got a plan, shut the fuck up. I got a plan, shut the fuck up, let me do this. Because now we see the Black Lives Matter shirt, I mean, the White Lives Matter shirt say White Lives Matter. Not lives, it say White Lives. I believe Kanye trolling, exactly. I believe Kanye trolling. He gathered all attention from the whole world, everybody looking at him. And he, he gonna drop the T, I believe, that say white lives matter, not white lives. But at the end of the day, as black people, think about this. We got mad at him because he was liking Trump. Think about that. That's really why we got mad at, at Kanye West and said fuck him because he wrote a MAGA hat and, um, and was supporting Trump, right? But we done let Biden get in this motherfucking, what the fuck is he doing? He got us more fucked up than when Trump was in there. So who was right? And I get kind of, he said on this interview, I, you know, like I said, I looked it up, he said, uh, what the fuck, he said, Democrats feel like they just automatically got our vote. And they just, we got to support them because they Democrats. And even one of them motherfuckers say, you black, you got to be Democrat. What? That ain't right. Because y'all ain't did shit for us. Y'all motherfuckers start ignoring us when y'all win these out offices and getting these offices and shit right now the motherfuckers in, in office and ain't doing shit for us you know what i'm saying so we have to snap out of the programming man we have to snap out out of the programming and stop trying to stop motherfuckers like Kanye, who are already a billionaire because we ain't got money like him and we at, at the end of the day let that motherfucker do whatever he do even if he on the wrong side of shit let him why you care if you don't fuck with him don't worry about him don't address him don't watch him that's it. That's my outlook on motherfucking uh, Kanye West. And, you know, like I say, I think a lot of people looking at the initial thing he did or said, but it, it, even still, Black Lives Matter ain't did shit for us, man. No people fucked over us, for real. And that's fucked up. That's crazy, man. That's fucked up, man. They ain't do shit for us. They, we gave them motherfuckers all that money. Well, we ain't give them shit, but everybody gave them all that money, and they ain't do shit for us. And he's saying... Basically, white people saying, oh, we, we support Black Lives Matter, so all the shit we did in the past, it don't mean nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck that. And ain't shit changed. Niggas still getting shot. Ain't shit changed in the black community. It's still fucked up. Hey, it's your brother Jezreel. Just think about this, man. Not all successful persons are people of value, but all persons of value, they are potentially successful people. For you, my people who has been lost from your own kind,